This is TK Coleman, and you're watching another episode of TK's Two Cents. Today, we're going to talk about evaluating friendships and embracing oddities. Let's go to tweet number one. Your friendships, and I put that in quotes, won't satisfy you if you have to compromise your self-honesty and individuality to keep them. It's only fun to be liked when it's the real you that they like. One of the hardest things to do in life is to prioritize our own freedom and our own purpose over the approval of others. Standing up for what you believe is right, what you believe is good, what you believe is true, what you believe is aligned with your purpose comes at the cost of having other people fold their arms and pout and say, well, I don't like that. I want you to live a different way. And so what we often find ourselves doing is we compromise our preferences and our principles and our priorities in order to keep people around, in order to have friends, because we don't want to be the outcasts. We don't want to be lonely. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter how many people there are out there who like you if you don't like yourself. When you go to bed at night and you close your eyes and you're alone with your own thoughts and your own feelings, your own soul, and you can't drown out what's going on inside of you through noise and social media. Are you in agreement with yourself? Are you in alignment with yourself? Because if you're not, having a room full of people to keep you company will not erase the loneliness you will feel from being empty on the inside. Never give up who you are just for the purpose of keeping people around because those people won't satisfy you unless it's the real you that's in the room. Here's the other thing. A lot of people will tell you, hey, you know, sometimes you can please everybody else, but if you're not pleased, then you'll be really unhappy. I'm going to say it's actually the other way around. You can't be truly pleasing to other people. You can't be truly satisfying to other people unless you are living life from your core. When you give yourself to people from a place of being bitter, from a place of being untrue, from a place of being compromised, they will often find you to be unsatisfying anyway because you're only giving 10% of yourself. You see, giving your best isn't just about the amount of time that you give to people. Giving your best is the quality of self that you give to people and you cannot give your best unless you are being honest with yourself making sure that your needs are met and making sure that you are interacting with others from a place of being in tune with your purpose, in tune with your truth. If you want to satisfy other people, if you want to be fulfilling to other people, start by acting and living from your core. And you'll find that you'll never actually be lonely because when you live from your core, you'll enjoy your alone time as a time of richness, as a time of great joy and you will magnetize other people into your life who want to experience what it's like to be around a human being that is in tune with who they are. Let's go to tweet number two. The odds are most in your favor when you exercise the courage to favor your oddness. Let me say what this does not mean. This does not mean that people will celebrate you, date you, marry you, befriend you, hire you, put you in the hall of fame, give you a reward, give you a big raise just because you are different, just because you are weird, just because you are unique. It doesn't work like that. What this message is saying is that you are most likely to succeed when you leverage your comparative advantages, when you discover what is it about you that makes you different and how can I use that to serve people in a way that is unique and irreplaceable. There are two qualities you need in life to be successful. The first quality is you need to have the ability to find a common ground with other people. If you have nothing in common with the people that you work with and that you work for, you'll never be able to establish a meaningful connection. The second thing you need, however, is the ability to find what makes you uncommon. What are the parts of you that no one can predict? What are the parts of you that Maybe some people in your family or in your social network might say, oh, that's weird. I didn't expect that. What are those parts of you? Those are the parts of you that are going to make it impossible for someone else to just come along and do your job in the way that you will do it. If you don't tap into what makes you uncommon, you will be a person that's easily replaced. Someone can just come along, follow the job description, 
and they will deliver the same result that you deliver. But your style, your creativity, that comes from all the weird stuff. Don't run away from what makes you weird. Find a way to make it work. Don't run away from your differences. Find a way to use your differences to make a difference in the lives of others so that they can do the same. All right, everybody, that's, 2K, that's TK's two cents for the day. 2K, 2K, it's TK's two cents for the day. Check it out. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment if you have a question for me, if there's something that you want to hear me discuss, um, or you know, if you want to share this with a family member or friend that you think might benefit from hearing this, please let them know about it. Please share the link with it and give me a shout out on social media. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks so much for listening. Continue to prioritize being true to yourself over having people in the room around you and continue to embrace your oddities because that's what has the potential to make you great. All right, everybody, peace out.